All right. So, decision, decisions, decisions. How do you decide when is it good to go over an existing roof or when you have to strip it? I'm an advocate of just going over anything, but there's different techniques as well. When you have a torch down, existing torch down roof, the best thing is to go to with another torch down over it and you fuse the two layers together. But, there's a but. If you have the silver coating like this, see this is silver paint over the torch down, then the other torch down that you try to put down is not gonna stick, it's gonna separate, it's paint. That is just regular paint that separates it. If the silver coating has sort of deteriorated to a point where you can almost see the, you can see the difference. You see, this is silver coating, but there's almost nothing here. Then you can torch straight to that. Let me show you something. So, look, nothing, it's not peeling up. But if I put it here, look. See how it's bubbling up? Look, the paint is peeling away. That's the difference. You don't want the paint to peel away and then you, you, nothing is going to stick. But if it's like that, it will stick. You can see it there, look. The paint is not peeling up. So, this roof has like 60 to 70% bare you can torch to it. There's a few spots that has a silver coating, which is not a big deal. So I'm just giving you an idea when to torch, when you can just go straight over. Now, if you have a lot of silver coating on the roof, then you have to put a base down, a base before you can put your, your torch down. Okay, you cannot straight, torch straight to the torch down, then you put a base down. And that's how I determine whether it's good or not, okay? All right, let's get started. If your roof is dirty, and you can see I already blew off some dust and, and debris, but let me show you what you cannot torch over. Watch this. This is dust. See the dust there? Look. You see that? Look. So you have to clean it. Let me do it. Let me clean it. Look. See the dust? You have to clean that dust off. You cannot just torch on top of dust. See that? And that's how you clean it. All right, so you take the blower. All right. The other thing is, when you have a roof, sometimes you get the mole, I don't know what they call these, mole channels, the, the roof is heaving up like that. And there's two things you can do to alleviate that before you put your torch down. You can cut these things like this, cut it down like that. So. You can see, look at the roof underneath it. And then you can screw to make it nice and tight. See that? See that? Beautiful. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so you can see now, there's a bunch of screws do this. I'm going to show you how I plan for this. I use a hook blade. I use Milwaukee knives, hook blade, okay? See the hook blade there? To cut the... You want to see how far this membrane will come. If you did put this membrane here, like that, okay? So what I want to do is, I don't want to make a seam here. I like to I like to um, bring my membrane up from the wall up to a little bit here. So when ice collects here, you have a membrane that goes up and then you bring your other one over that. So I just determined by doing this, 
from the top of the wall, I bring it down and I say, okay, I don't have to come up that far. I can just do something right here and then I can torch to that. That it doesn't have to be that much. And slightly up here, slightly, okay, just like that. So I'm gonna roll out here. So I go slightly up here, see the, the membrane goes slightly up, just like that, okay, slightly up. And you get yourself a pair of white gloves. <laughs> because it's gonna be black later. <laughs> All right, so here we start. I have a torch made in Italy. Wow, Magnum, okay. So, I want to show you something. Every brand has a different consistency and um, this is a soft very soft uh, membrane uh, the brand is I think Carlisle but Carlisle is a soft brand so Suprema in Canada makes a very soft uh, membrane you can barely walk on it it will scuff it or mark it up and so if you are Canadian you're gonna say ah you cannot walk on a thing you have to pull it with a stick so they have a pull stick where they pull the roll instead of pushing it with their foot. Much harder technique and I don't like that technique. But anyway, here's the reason they don't want to walk on it. Look at this. You see the marks? My, my shoe marks, look at this. It, it impresses the, 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 you see that? So you, if you get, if you're gonna do it, you need to do something with a smooth sole. See, so you have to get boots with a smooth sole like that. So you don't make these impressions like that. All right, so I'm changing my foot shoe to a, my, my comfy shoes to a boot. I wanna show you, I got my boots on now because it's not gonna, but I wanna show you the advantage of going over this uh, torch down, current torch down. Let me cut a piece out. <clears throat> but look at this look how thick it is two membranes fused together it's impossible to ever destroy this roof it's a almost three eighths three eighths thick it's an unbelievable roof why not use the existing torch down if that's what you're gonna get so to to, to teach you how to torch is something with experience, comes with experience, but I'm going to show you what things you need to look for so you know you're getting it, you, you're getting the principles down. So when you torch, you want to run your torch over the surface that you're going to torch to, to get that hot and, and sort of melt it like this. You see this is melted now slightly, not too much, okay? So I run it there, and I run it over the roll here. See the roll now? Slightly melted. So this surface and this surface will bond. And then you run your torch over the seam. And then when you roll, when you push with your foot, you push right and hold the torch right on the seam there. Like that. And look. It barely oozes out. So you have your assistant do this. So let me show you. We're gonna do now a continuous roll. Get my torch, my trowel hot. I, I heat up the surface. And I push while holding my torch there. Right there. And look. You barely want it to ooze out, not too much. See there? Just like that. Not more than that. About an eighth of an inch. That means you've melted it good. Let me do it again. Oh, 
Everything slow, not fast. That's it. Okay, and look. You can see when you when you push that put pressure on the seam, it barely oozes out, okay? And well, let me show you how it works. Come this side and you'll see. Look, look at, see the melting. See that melting there? So let's go. Now melted too much. And nothing fast, it's not like this. You don't do this with your torch. You run it slow. 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 Slow movements. Okay. Slow movements. You don't go fast. And then you have your assistant do this by just pressing on the seam to make sure it's bonded, okay? And then you keep pushing. That's it. Beautiful. And then, while you're doing that, your your system your system rolls it back for you, and you roll the other way. You do half of the roll at the time. You don't do a complete roll from the beginning. You need half and half. So you roll out the roll, line it out, and then you you roll it out. Okay? Let me show you. See, it's melted. Look, it's melted, but not comp not. Ooh, um. All right. This is how you do it. She lines it up like that. She gets it ready, and I'm torch. She lines it up and then she rolls half of it back. Either way, yeah, it's like uh, pull a little bit, pull a little bit, Sweena. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so now it's lined up and then she rolls back half of the roll. Yeah. So you don't just start rolling, you need to line it up first, the entire roll before you can start torching. So she's gonna go halfway back. After I start pushing this down, she starts ro rolling the other side back. She's just gonna roll that back, see? So she's rolling back and I'm torching this side. All right, that's how it works. So let me do this. All right, I'm torching. You can see I burned it more because there was aluminum, uh, the silver coating that I wanted to burn off. Like that. No, no. So she squeezes it down like that while I'm torching. Here. Here's what a lot of people do wrong. 
Okay, I'm going to show you what do a lot of people do wrong. They come here, they heat this up and they flap it over. You never let it flap over. It will never, never work. You never do that. So when you come here, this is what you do. You start from one end to the other end. Let me show you. I go at the triangle, look. Never flap it down uncontrolled. Look, I'm doing a triangle. Look. See, and I don't flap it down like that. I hold it with my mouth. Okay? That should never be uncontrolled. And that's it. Look at it. Beautiful. See how it oozes out a little bit? You make sure you see the oozing out like that. See there? Not too much. And then you don't want to overheat it. But that's it. And I don't flap it up like that. Never do that. It, you have to control it. Let me show you. I start on one side. Oh, see, it wants to go up by itself. So start that side. Now that corner is down. I'm going to do this corner. This is how you control it. And that's how you control it. Right there, you never put it, flap it down. Never, 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 never. If you flap it down, you're not going to get a good uh, well. Thank you, Shiro. There you go. Thank you. We went over an existing roof. Came out very nice, not 100% smooth, but much better than, look at it, beautiful. All right, so we did this roof, and now we're on the parapet walls. Now, uh, let me show you some ideas that you can use if you have a parapet wall like this, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm showing you uh, how to treat a parapet wall. Now, let's do it this way. Let me take this off, sweetheart. All right, so we came up with a membrane to this wall we attach it to the wall and but you can see this is a cap like a concrete cap you see the cap there's a concrete cap over uh, a wall now there's two or three ways you can do this let me show you one way you can use Karnak like that uh, 88 trowel all right 88 Okay, and you can smear, this is the easy way. You can smear this on the edge there, that's another way. Now that's one way. This is a long section, you only want to do 10 foot at a, at a time. Don't do more than 10 feet at a time, okay? So. because it's hard. So you can do it this way. All right, my trowel is dirty. All right, let me do it this time. And then, where I didn't put the tar, see here? I'm gonna just melt it. So that's another method. I melt it right onto the cement. <clears throat> and I make a transition that way. Here's where the tar is. You can do it that way also, okay? So there's a bunch of ways you can do it, but don't do more than 10 foot at a line. This is like 15 feet or 14 feet. It's a little bit too hard to manage. You do 10 feet, you barely manage it. but Longer than that, it becomes hard, all right? So that's how you, you can treat the parapet wall, but make you sure you bring your membrane all the way slightly over the edge. See, it's like a half 
quarter of an inch over because it's going to shrink a little bit okay and all right so that's it slightly over and then uh you stick it to the wall and and you, your parapet wall is okay. A lot of people will disagree with me. I've done it for many years. It works, okay? The drip is now. I don't want. I just want to show. We can show it. Let's show. Let's show. Okay. If you want to put a drip edge like this, all right, you're gonna either screw it down or nail it down. But I can do it a different way. Let me show you. If you want to put a drip edge. To protect that uh, edge, let's say the, the brick, the, the block comes all the way to the top, then I can do this. So you don't have a, a cap, like a cement cap or nothing. So I will do this then, just to show you. This is just for to teach, you. To teach something, give you ideas. All right, so I, I can nail it down the drip edge or I can glue it down like this look at that but now to put my membrane down see I get it on my glove and then I can do the the same over the drip edge just like this see and that way you know there would ne never water come in never I'm just showing you a different way to do things. All right, so let me show you. Now, I fix my membrane to that. Okay, right there. Look. I burn the plastic off. All right, there you go. And look. Beautiful. You see how the drip edge is there? Look. Here's my drip edge. Sandwich between the wall, uh, the, the parapet wall and a membrane. That's another way to do it. Yeah, but then water cannot get in and you know it's sealed. All right? So when you do a torch down, as I said, you, you cannot go and torch over silver coating. You see the silver oak aluminum asphalt coating, aluminum coating? You cannot just torch over it and I'm going to show you why. This is, this is a torch down. It was done several years ago and look, it just came up. It's, it's, it doesn't stick. Even the tar doesn't stick so you cannot do that when you have a, a silver coating you cannot just go over dust to the dirt and over uh, aluminum asphalt so in this case the best thing then to do is to put down a base sheet <laughs> so there you go If you have a base to torch to, you just remove the, the, the plastic, release, release the plastic, see, oops, this is off. <coughs> remove the plastic, <coughs> remove the plastic, come here, you remove the plastic on both sides on this overlap and this one you do it simultaneously and this will stick together okay see that now now it's easy to torch over the base this is the easiest way to do it We went over a uh, existing torch down and we showed you how to do that. But then you have something that sticks out like a vent and you want to do the flashing around the vent. And this is what I do. I use a uh, tubo poly seal. 
All right, you gotta mix it very, very well. If you don't, it's not gonna work. All right, and then, very simple, let me show you. Let me show you quickly. I uh, put some tape just for, to make it look nice. You take a brush, after you've mixed it, clean your, and all you do is, you add, make flashing, very simple. Very simple. Very simple to do this roof. Easy. Easy. Go around. Maybe this little far. And I cut it. I cut tabs just like this. Let me show you. I cut tabs just halfway. Just like that. Every inch or so that beautiful just like that and that's it to do not that hard <laughs> and voila looks nice flashing is done looks very nice here I will see you on a well. I gotta give my wife some credit here. Uh, okay, come, okay. come see that. Come this way. Yeah. So we both worked hard to make this video to show you and do the roof and give us thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. We love you all. Thank you for watching us. Okay. Bye. Bye.